Are they trying to unblock the doors or what? Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three, one, two. Pushing. Raven Guard. He's here. Yes. Don't you have axes? Push! Damn it! Push! Oh, I don't have any strength, but she should have some. Can she? Oh, push! Not working. No. Oh. Oh, push. Is it because uh, Grim is in the dialogue and she isn't for some reason? But like, Will is in the dialogue. And Lazel isn't, and for some reason she can't join. This is like super weird how this works. All of my party, so long as they are like joined together, should join the dialogue whenever I initiate a dialogue. Otherwise, stupid shit like this happens, where I can't have my strongest character do the strength check. Great God Helm. He is the great champion of the council. Commander of the flaming fist. The binding force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Will, you must hold Man, so little love for your father. They s seriously have him and return him to the city. A uh, bus coefficient of one, or a bus factor rather. For those that don't know, a bus factor is how many people on a project need to be hit by a bus before the whole project just stops. It's a thing in uh, probably any any sphere but well i'm in it so that's, that's that's where i learned that and if your bus factor is one there's a big problem in your project although of course <laughs> i have seen projects where the bus factor is like 0 0.5 as in there's two different people either one of which just d disappearing would stop the project and so here we have a whole city with a bus factor of one. Oof. Yeah, there we go. Well. No, why did everyone jump back just because I <coughs> had to manually jump this guy over? Will I have to unlink the party to get this done? Are you fucking kidding me? Looked like he was gonna take a running start and yeet himself over. This, yeah, the, the, this jump, having your whole party follow you when you jump, is super important. They should have paid more attention to it because it's it can get really annoying real fast. Let's be able to just go there. Why aren't the other party members fucking following me? Like I don't care. Through the fucking traps, just go. Like we can deal with health problems later. They're just not there. Can I select all multiple? No, I can't select multiple. How do I give everyone the fucking command to run through the bullshit? I guess the actual way to do this is I have to like detach them and then send them through one by one. Cell can do two attacks. Oh, 
Down she goes. Wait, don't run through the fucking cloud of daggers. Why did they do that? Why did they just automatically run through hazards that are just sitting there? When I didn't even give any commands, the combat just ended. And previously, when I wanted everyone to just follow the leader through traps and noxious clouds and whatever, then they didn't. Make it make sense, game. Trick question, you can't. Um, wait, what did Marina die from? And when? Did she walk into the cloud of daggers? Do I need to do the fucking fight again? Uh, when was Marina... Yeah, Cloud of Daggers killed Marina. When did she even move? Yeah! That's when the party gained experience. She was safe next to it. When I, even after the hag teleported her there. And then once the fight ended, just like my two moronic party members, she just walked into it. Um, can I push her into the blades maybe? Wait. Instead of pushing her into the blades, I pushed her into the abyss. <laughs> and that's the end of that. And now I actually... Wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> I failed again. Because I expected her to teleport the girl out of the cage. So I never pressed the orb. And then I dicked around too long after the fight ended. And the cage burned and the girl died. I am the unluckiest person to ever play this fucking game. It's And it's not even close. Well, in section general is a smaller actual I'm drinking a potion or doing a jump and I mean generally yeah but I think changing your equipment of any kind is a full action which I discovered when I wanted to put my shield away so I could two-hand the weapon and I'm pretty damn sure it's faster to drop a shield and two-hand your weapon than it is to drink a potion <laughs> But, uh, I think this is like a minor, minor issue. I'm glad swapping weapon slots doesn't cost an action. See, this actually, I think, should cost at least a bonus action compared to other things. Like, if you're holding, like, a bow, an arrow, ready to draw like putting that away unless you're just literally throwing it on the ground and leaving it there and drawing a weapon it's it gets finicky like sheathing a weapon pulling the bow off your back knocking an arrow it's it it takes more time than something like I don't know, a jump. But, yeah, I guess uh, it would just be a lot of pain. Given how... Like, the amount of stuff that you can do in one turn is... Well, it can't be very realistic. Yeah, throwing a potion is definitely faster than drinking it. The... the like, for game design reasons they had to make it all very very unrealistic but because like in real life if you are in melee with someone the fastest thing you can do is hit them with the sword you're holding compared to almost every other action 
that you can do here, it is so much faster. In the time that you grab a potion, like uncork it, chug it, you could have hit someone like five, six times, maybe more. And I mean like like five good swings easily. That's like I, I actually timed this recently for unrelated reasons. Um, I think I could like with two hands, I could get off something like uh, three good hits per second. I think it was ten hits in like three seconds and change. And I'm not some kind of sword master. I, I'm like average. At sword fighting, uh, somebody who's actually good can probably do more than that. So translate that to the turns and, and how much time it takes, like to run around, cast a spell, do whatever else. You could like kill three people so long as they're near enough that you don't have to run to them. Well, of course, fighting three people is a whole different problem, but in t in terms of just taking how many. How many actions you can take if that action is to swing your sword. But but I digress.